Italian summer, leisure, relaxation and play. And when father went out to bat and you watched, this is how you looked, mother, daughter and son. And when the match was over, this is the way father had his photograph taken, to record for posterity that moustache, without which he would have felt undressed. Edwardian summer, and the garden parties, and the soirees. The exact period where the transformed Eliza Doolittle made her debut among the teacups with her not bloody likely. Imagine the shock. And this is the way you looked, if you could afford it. And surely there's never been greater competition in elegance. For it was a world whose gentleness gave time and opportunity to occupy yourself with just looking your best. The time for paying calls and attending receptions and balls and going to the races. There was something to put on for every occasion, the best for sport. For by now sport, in small degree, was considered acceptable for the ladies. That was the way you looked. Boaters and blazers and gleaming flannels. The same summer when three men in a boat rowed upstream from regatta to regatta. Or was it one of those famous three who took these ladies for a trip in a punt? It might have been. And being one of those three, he wasn't very good at it. Don't forget to pull the pole out. Yes, it was pleasant on the river, that Edwardian summer. Nothing to disturb the peace and enjoyment. Oh, dear, I'm afraid. Yes, I was right. <laughs>